and the name of the topic is Earth Movements. Before starting our topic, do you know what's Earth? Yes, all of you know what's Earth. Earth is the third planet of our solar system and it is called the blue planet. Do you know the reason why Earth is called the blue planet? In my hand there is Earth. And why we, why we call it blue planet? What is the reason? The reason is that most of the part of the Earth is covered with the water. You can see this part is also covered with water. The under the Earth is also covered with water. Here is also, also covered with water. So we can call it a blue planet. If it will not covered with the water, if 73% will be not water, then we can't count it as a blue planet. Okay? So our topic is Earth movement. So let us come on the topic. You can see here is the crust, here is the outer core, here is the inner core, and here is the mantle. Okay? Here is the mantle. The lithosphere or out the crust, it is not continuous. It's not, it has to stop. And it's made up of rigid planets of solar system. It's made up of very, very rigid planets. And this lithosphere floats on the asthenosphere. And asthenosphere's another name is magma chamber. Okay? Magma chamber. And this magma chamber, it floats on it. But why it does not fall down in the crust? Okay, what's the reason? Why it does not fall? Why it does not fall on the Due to the due to the pressure of the gases of the magma, it remains floating on the earth. It does not fall into the that hot liquid on the magma called the asthenosphere. And this asthenosphere is always in the liquid form, not in the uh, solid form. And this asthenosphere, it is always in the motion. It does never rest us. It does not stop us anywhere. It always in the motion. Always floats, continuously floats. Okay? So as this asthenosphere, as it moves or floats, these the, I can see the planets inside the lithosphere they slide against each other. Okay, the tectonic planets in the lithosphere slide against each other. When, when the asthenosphere floats. Okay, when the asthenosphere floats. So I will here show with the marker that how asthenosphere. Okay. So if it is, if it is our uh, or our lithosphere, if asthenosphere is present here, when this lithosphere floats on this asthenosphere, and when this uh, little asthenosphere moves, floats. The planet is present in the crust, they are sliding again at each other. Sliding again at each other. Remember this point. So, this drifting, so this explains us that major geographical changes are occurred on our Earth. Major geographical changes are occurred on our Earth. And drifting of continents, formation of islands and mountains, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions. This occur due to the natural phenomenon. And we can turn this theory as palate tectonics. What? What we can turn this theory as? Palate, palate tectonics. 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 Palate tectonics. Okay? And this word tectonics, it derives from a Latin word tecton. What? Tecton. And this tecton means builder. What? This tecton means builder or creator. This tectonics is derived from a Greek word tecton and this tecton is derived from a tecton means the meaning of a tecton is built. Okay? So, now we will learn about, we have learned about the earth movements. But now I will show you one movement that occurs on our, that is the continental drift. Our earth, it was not like this. It was very different in the initial stage. Very different in the initial stage. No, there were no continents. Seven continents. This all the land was fused into a huge land mass called Pangaea. What? Pangea. The la land mass, the huge land mass was called as Pangaea. Okay? So, now, during the movement of palates inside the surface of the earth, made the palates, made the palates drift apart, made this huge land mass on which we are sitting drift apart. And it, and it formed a drift called continental drift. Again, I will tell you, due to the movement of the planets inside the surface of the earth, made the huge landmark drift apart, and this time we can term as the continental drift. Okay? So, now you learn about the earth movements, which, which movements occurred on our earth. You learn about the continental drift. You know I mean, how the lithosphere floats on the asthenosphere. So, my dear students, this was beyond your concept. So I hope you have liked our presentation. Thank you.